Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi, or should I say, Goedemorgen, want we zijn in Nederland, yes, we are in the Netherlands again, uh, we will stay here for about a few weeks, we're going to do four meetups, when I'll be in the Netherlands, one in the south, one in the middle of the Netherlands, one in the north, and one in the up north, something like that, I will put the whole agenda somewhere, I think it will be in Sittard, will be in Arnhem, I think it will be in Amsterdam, and then I think the north somewhere, I don't know, I will let you know. Now, let's quickly jump into a beautiful TA video this morning on Saturday, because I have a few amazing charts to show you, because you should not be freaking out about Bitcoin. Bad. Here's the first one. This is the Bam Bam indicator with the happy step and the hills and sand. Yes, a complete new package of the indicators. If you want to have those, then you need to go to thebitcoinfamily.com. That is this website. On this website, you will find all the information, all the products, indicator packages. You can find the shop for the t-shirts. You can find the free GT guard as a free indicator for all of you. And you will find the Bitcoin Family Pro bot, which is a bot that makes around three to four percent a month. The noise that you're hearing at the moment, guys, is uh, my uh, pellet cackle. I don't know how to say it in English. It's uh, to heat the room. Um, this indicator told us already it is short over there. There was a short flag, red one, plus a yellow triangle, which means the candle is closing down below the yellow stepping line. And we were coming out of this not so wide band. Oh my God, that thing makes a lot of noise. Gee, um, sorry for that. Uh, and that was the short moment because you saw also the short flag here on the hill and sand. And you also saw a lot of red in the top over there. And then you saw the starting of this blue sea and the yellow beach and the bam bam line already crossed that white line. So there was like a quadruple confirmation to take the short, the short would have taken you. Let's take you take it late. Um, you could exit at the long flag, that would be 5.2%, but you can also wait before the candle closes again above the other stepping line, which it still didn't, so you would now be in 7.5% without leverage, of course. Now, there is an automated built-in Fibonacci retracement uh, tool so you can see which are the support levels. Fully customizable, you can double click it and you can change everything. You can add lines, you can add background colors. If you do the lines, you see the support lines of the Fibonacci. Now, if we zoom out now, now we can see the daily channel we set, we told you guys, if we break that green line, we retest it and we will go up. We did a very long time on breaking at 44,500, this is a day chart. So we started to attack that level from this moment, the 6th of January. We are now around the 9th of April. That means it took us almost till here, till the 27th of March, two months to break that 44,500 K level. We broke it, we were happy, we were expecting a resistance at that red line, the 200 day moving average, we were expecting a retest at that 45,500. We thought that it would now turn and support. This didn't happen. This is weak. Because look, one time, two time, three time, four time, five time, sixth time we broke it, we should have retested and tested as support on the day chart. So for me, it's not. It's a weak sign that we break the 44,500. You can see also on the bam bam, it's telling us to short the market already from this candle. And it was again right. And yes, we have yellow sand now. So we need to turn this around to green hills to become bullish. Like I said, I think the level that we could go to even is 41,500. But the 50 uh, is coming up here, the green line. So that would be the support, I think. And then when that 50 again crosses that red line to the upside on the daily, that is this moment over here, for example, then we can see this run. So this green line needs to cross that red line again. Okay, now uh, on the Gaussian channel, also warned you um, if we don't break that midline and this turns red, this is not positive. Watch the video like four days ago, I did a full explanation of this. Red has only happened a few times and that was bearish as hell. So that's not good. Um, this candle is going to close in eight, one day and 18 hours. Maybe it can close a little bit more bullish, but I don't expect it to close above the 47k level. But in Bitcoin, you never know. But like I said, um, if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that all the red areas 
in the Gaussian channel, five day chart, so every candle is five days, it was only one, two, three times before, uh, not so positive. Uh, only one time, this time the price went up in that red area, but that was that COVID dump, you know, that the whole market thought that the uh, world was going to uh, stop exist. Now, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, so this, not positive as well. But now the positive part comes, okay? The positive part is comes that you can have less stress by using um, the Bitcoin family bot. This one makes you 3 to 4% and these dips are perfect for the bot. It will optimize the profit. So you just need to sign up on the website. Now, other charts, really cool ones, um, are these. Bam. Now, let's start with this one. Let's see where I put my face over there. Nice on top where it belongs. This is the Entity Adjusted Dormancy Flow. And that kind of says the moment that this orange line is touching this green area, it had happened like, look, if we look really from the beginning, one time we came from the game area, two time, three time, four time, five time, and now this is the sixth time, so it happened five times before this time. If you look to those charts, every single of those five times, this one would have been a perfect moment to buy Bitcoin. This one would have been a perfect moment to buy Bitcoin. This one would have been a perfect moment to buy Bitcoin. This one would have been a perfect moment to buy Bitcoin. All of these times were perfect moments to buy Bitcoins. So. This is where the smart money comes in and starts to buy this ultimate dip because mostly when we get into this, that is when the market will start to turn around and run into this huge bull run. Yes, this time is a little bit different than all the previous bull runs. That doesn't mean that all the indicators are wrong. This means that maybe the bull run has just a little bump in between or two bumps in between before we go to this huge run again because this here is telling me this is the reversal of the market okay now the next chart this one let's see where my face is and i need to make a good video and the face need to be in the right place now then it's going to the bottom also where it belongs sometimes it's very sometimes this time is also very interesting this is the supply last active one plus years ago so also here we can see that the amount of times we went with that blue line into this green box was not that often in history of Bitcoin. It was over here, which would have been a perfect moment to buy Bitcoins. It would have here, it would have been a perfect moment to buy Bitcoins. And here, it would have been a perfect moment to buy Bitcoins. And we can tell this tiny thing again as well would be the perfect moment to buy Bitcoins. We went in. We can see it curling up again. What do you think that this is? Do you think that this is a perfect moment to buy Bitcoins? So for me, these signs are very positive. Um, these signs every time happen before that huge bull run in Bitcoin. These signs always happen before a huge run in Bitcoin. Here, it happened before a huge run in the Bitcoin price. Here, is it also happening exactly before that huge run the Bitcoin price? If it is up to this model over here, I don't know if you know this model, maybe you can zoom in a little bit, hopefully it's still clear. Yes, it is. This model is also created by Plan B, he tweeted about it. Um, in this chart, you can see the realized cap um, divided by the price. So the average, the, the realized cap is the average price at which each of the 19 million Bitcoins was last transacted on chain. So the price can go up and down, but the realized cap keeps going up. And mostly when that realized cap goes up, the price comes back again when it falls down first to that realized cap. So it shows that the all-time high in realized cap leads to an all-time high in the price, which is very cool. And plan B thinks, and I agree with him, that that is the current situation again. The realized price is increasing, now the price will catch up and that will be creating in this new autumn high. 
So then we have also, of course, still that stock, flow, stock to flow model. And that stock to flow model at the moment is saying, yes, um, we are still in the second standard deviation band, yeah, the light bluish. Uh, March is the fourth month now in a row that we are outside the f uh, first uh, standard deviation band, that, that thick bluish one, huh? that is between 50 to 200k. So we, we are kind of in a critical point because we are now almost like a full year already below the stock to flow um, model, you know, the value of the first uh, standard deviation band. And that's a long time. And every time when we are a long time below that model, uh, we should be going in a darker blue model. And that, of course, could now happen uh, at any time. We don't know, but if we could keep following this model, you can see the red line over here is coming closer to that bluish, darkish area. And that is exactly where we should be. And then we should go to the top of that bluish, darkish area. Now, um, that was, I think, yes, everything for today's beautiful Saturday morning's um, uh, TA uh, update. We are going to do a Dutch AMA later today from Holland. Really cool. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about my beautiful living home with the plants and the bamboo? Bamboo. Bamboo. Well, I don't know. Now, let me know. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again.